You want some more coffee, Brent? Yeah, sure. Wait. You're keeping the free refill policy, right? Pardon? Well, when your aunt ran the place, she gave us free refills. Oh, how many free refills? I'm not sure. 30 or 40? It was within reason. You can drink 30 cups of coffee. Well, not at one sitting. You gotta spread that out over the whole morning. So you're telling me you could come in here, slap down a buck fifty. A buck fifty? A buck fifty? And drink an unlimited amount of coffee? Well, you're not in Toronto anymore, Lacey, with your grande mocha dappalopa frappuccino. This is Saskatchewan. Tommy Douglas fought the federal government for free refills on coffee. Oh, really? I thought, I thought Tommy Douglas fought for free health care. Well, after the coffee thing, there was a lot of kidney disorder. Oh, back to work. Hey, if this guy doesn't buy at least a buck fifty worth of gas, I'm gonna have to owe you for the coffee. Want me to fill it up? Do you work here? Be a pretty weird hobby. So you work here? I own the place, actually. Oh, what year did you take over? Well, I guess it depends who are you. Uh, I guess I did come on a little quickly there. My name is Marvin Dre. Muffin Dre? Marvin Dre. I work for Canada Customs and Revenue. Ah, the tax man. A tax man. Pardon? I'm not the tax man. I'm a tax man. Saying the tax man is just a little dehumanizing, thank you very much. Wow, this has come up before, hasn't it? Would you like it if people called you the gas man? I'd love it. That was going to be my name if I ever became a pro wrestler. Want to see what my big finishing move would be? No. That's probably the right answer. I'm here to speak with a Mr. Oscar Leroy. Do you know him? What's this about? I can't actually discuss that with anyone but Mr. Leroy. Well, I'm his son, Grant Leroy. Ah, is your father coming in today? Is he in some kind of trouble? Trouble? What makes you think he's in trouble? What if I told you he was out of town? Is he out of town? What if he was? Do you know where he is or not? What's your favorite color? Excuse me? I was just seeing how long we could answer questions with questions. Well, it was fun, wasn't it? I better get back to work. Okay, hey guys, that's three dollars for the coffee. That's... that's a joke, right? Look, I know it's a little more than it used to be, but... It used to be zero. See, Ruby never charged me for coffee. Kind of a tip of the hat for keeping the peace around here. Hmm, well, seems like a pretty peaceful place, so I'm gonna take my chances. Look, if Marlon Brando and the Wild Bunch roll in here and start tossing ketchups around, I'll buy you a coffee, okay? But until then, it's three dollars. <laughs> Marlon Brando. You should have told us before we ordered that we'd have to pay. Oh. I'm sorry. See, where I come from, people just assume they have to pay for things in restaurants. You know what? I love the coffee. I'll pay for it. Or you can pay for it. I just need to speak with your father to verify a few things. I don't think he's here. I think he went to Hawaii. Hawaii? <laughs> Not Hawaii. <laughs> Somewhere cheaper than that. Red Deer. I can appreciate that you don't want to help me. I, I get that a lot. Sometimes I get outright hostility just because of my job. Well, no offense, but I mean, I can't just turn over my father. There's a bond between father and son that's strong and sacred. Hey, idiot. You left the lid in the dumpster up last night. Crows are scattered garbage all over the place out there, and I'll be damned if I'm going to clean it. It'll be you out there on your hands and knees scraping up crow crap. I'll tell you whatever you need to know. What's this? Don't even start, Hank. Huh? No, you know, I know. I'm not from here. You know, maybe here in Saskatchewan, everything just gets magically paid for by some money fair, you know? I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll put a used coffee filter under my pillow, and when I wake up, there'll be $100 there. But until that happens, people who come to the Ruby have to pay for their food and drink, okay? Okay. I just meant this is fries and a gravy and, and a root beer, and all I had was a coffee. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's that's a that's a wrong bill. Oh, see? <laughs> Buck fifty, what are you nuts? 
Dad, this is Muffin Tray, or Marvin Dre. He's one of many tax men. Good morning, Miss Leroy. I'm just here to look into some minor discrepancy on your commercial tax exemption. Discrepancy? What are you talking about? I file my taxes every year. My taxes pay your damn salary, so you can just turn around and go back where you came from. There, I'm glad that's settled. It's really not a big deal, Mr. Leroy. Last year you claimed what appears to be an unusually high fuel tax exemption. I just need to examine your record. I file my taxes every year. I pay your salary. He's starting to drift on us. So you say you just need to see the sales receipts from last year, right? That's all. Dad, any idea where those might be? My taxes pay for that suit you're wearing, buddy boy. Yeah, we lost them. See? This is what I'm talking about. Hostility for no reason. Well, it's not just you. Dad's cranky. I saw him one time yell at a butterfly. Called it a son of a bitch. Told it to get out of his garden. Why'd you come in person? You ever hear of a telephone? It's a handy invention. I'll show you how it works sometime. We did call. You did not. What did you call me on the phone for? My taxes paid for this call. You got something to say, you come here and say it in person. Get in a car. You ever hear of a car? It's a handy invention. I'll show you how it works sometime. Who is that? I don't know. Some jackass. You're a lion. I don't know. His story does kind of reek of the truth. Oh, sure. There you go. Take his side, old buddy buddy with the tax man. A tax man. I'm a tax man. Oh, okay. How about we say that's enough for right now? You go relax. Go have a piece of pie or something. Okay. Hostility for no reason. Geez, he's a bit of a delicate thing, ain't he? Why don't you go hold his hand for him? Sure are handing out a lot of tickets. Never seen you write out so many tickets before. Starting to get the feeling you might be upset. Did I forget your birthday? You broke the code. I didn't mean to. What code? This might be news to you, rookie. But cops stick up for each other. We cover each other's back. Okay, what, the coffee thing? I just offered to pay for the coffee, that's all. You went against me, you went against the force. You know who you are? You're Serpico. Who? Serpico. You know the Al Pacino movie? No. You're in danger of being shunned by the entire force. Yeah, but you and I are the force. Hey, did the milk delivery come in? Not yet. Hey, which delivery guy is it today? The cute one? I don't know. They're both so dreamy. The tall one who looks like George Clooney or the one with the rash on his neck? Oh, uh, sorry. It's Rash Wednesday. Ah, great. Or my push-up bra for nothing. Whole town appreciates it, Wanda. Oh, good. Hey, who is that guy talking with you and your dad? Tax man. And whatever you do, don't call him the tax man. Call him a tax man or he kind of goes squirrely on you. Oh, well, some people are sensitive about article use. About what? Proper article use. A or an or indefinite articles. The is a definite article. In fact, some people say the is a definite article. Yeah, people say a lot of stuff. Hank! <laughs> nice. Next time, just throw a snake at me. I need your help. With what? Not here. This is on the hush hush. So that's what we gotta do. We gotta nail this guy. You gotta help me come up with some kind of plan. You're a shifty kind of weasel type. No offense. Nerve of that jackass. I'm not being cheated out of my money by some slick talking pencil neck government jerk. I can hear you. Well, you sneak. Mind your own business. Hey! I mean, it's fascinating to think that most languages have more than one definite article. French has three. German, Brent. Karen, thank God. Do you have Serpico? What's that for, dandruff? The movie. The movie or a movie? It's a movie with Al Pacino. I always get my Al Pacino movies mixed up. Oh, I saw Serpico. He plays a cop, fights corruption on the force. How does it end? I think he gets shot in the head. Or he turns into a blind guy who smells women. Either way, we don't have the movie. Okay. Um, thanks anyway. Yep. All right, we can talk in here. 
Okay, I got a plan. Well, that's never good. No. What's it to you? I don't see you coming up with any plan to help me out of this tax mess. Oh, so you recruited the Desert Fox here. Smooth move. Go stuff a duck. What's your plan, Hank? Okay. Okay, two words. Blackmail. Huh? We go out with this tax guy, get him drunk, and then we take pictures of him doing something sleazy. He'll be so embarrassed, he'll drop the whole case. <laughs> you watch a lot of MASH, do you? Well, I got a satellite dish now. Well, what if he doesn't do anything sleazy? You got a plan B? As a matter of fact, I do. I go out with this tax guy, get him good and loaded, right? Sounds like you just want to drink with the guy. I know what I'm doing. We get the tax man. Ah, tax man. Actually, in this case, you can say the tax man because you're referring to a particular person. What? We get that guy really drunk. And then when he's really liquored up. You seduce him. No. Oh, no. Well, while I'm getting the tax guy drunk, Oscar puts a bunch of papers in the box. Any old papers doesn't matter. Then he drops them in front of the tax guy. And we mess him up because we're so drunk, right? And he'll want to cover his ass, so he'll assume that he screwed up. And then Oscar gets away with it because he's too embarrassed to admit that he was drunk. Are you drunk now? That makes no sense, messing up the papers. How does that help? Well, it's complicated. It's got a lot of... I like it. I don't know. I think Wanda was onto something. You should just seduce this guy. What do you say, Hank? Take one for the team? Here's an obvious question. Have you even tried looking for the papers? So have you decided on something? Yes, I believe I will have... Wait, before you order anything, I think I should tell you that coffee is not free. You have to pay for it. What an odd thing to say. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I, I shouldn't have to tell people that coffee isn't free. People here think coffee's free. I don't know how to put this, but uh, don't you think uh, the people around here are a little odd? Oh, no. No, they seem real nice, friendly. Lacey, please give Davis free coffee. I'd pay for it, but then he'd know. Somehow, he'd know. Okay, look. I am not a rat, okay? I do not want to go up against the force! He's on to me. I gotta go. I don't want to end up getting shunned or shot in the face or sniffing women. What do you mean, odd? What are you looking for? Nothing. Nothing. You're just rummaging around in the box for no reason. Not for no reason. I'm looking for something. Well, what are you looking for? Nothing. If you're looking for your Garfield books, I threw them away. I'm not looking for my Garfield books. Why would you throw away my Garfield books? What about you? What's your story? What do you do? Just government work. Pretty boring stuff. <laughs> you don't want to hear about it. Oh, come on. Sure I do. Canada Customs and Revenue. That's interesting. Gee, I'm so sorry. You know what? I've got to get back to work. <sighs> Every time. Could you at least take my order? You know, if you tell me, I could help you look. I'm looking for business paper. What do you mean, business paper? Fine, then. Don't help me. Oh, God, you're a pain. What kind of business paper are you talking about? The tax things for the tax stuff. Well, your tax files are in the cabinet in the garage. No, they're not. Yes, they are. I put them there myself. No, you didn't. You would have told me if you didn't. You didn't. I did tell you. I told you before I put them there. You never tell me nothing. Oscar, I'm taking all your tax files and putting them in the cabinet in the garage. Yeah. Did you hear me, Oscar? Your tax papers are in this blue box, and I'm putting them in the cabinet in the garage. I'm trying to watch wrestling. You have to know where this stuff is in case the tax people come looking for it. Right. The tax man's going to come looking for me. <laughs> Who am I? Al Capone? Look out. The feds are coming for us. Run for your life, mob barker. Elliot Ness is going to catch you. We're all going to jail for tax fraud. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why I bother. Maybe the attic. Emma! Would they be up in the attic?
You think that guy looks like George Clooney? No, not him, the other one. Who, Brad Pitt? Hey, Davis just gave me a parking ticket. Yeah, he gave me one too, and I'm parked in the parking lot. Yeah, well, I wasn't even parked. I was stopped at a stop sign. He came running out from behind a bush. Yeah, he's mad because Lacey's not giving him free coffee, so he's taking it out in the whole town. I'm nervous, some people. I mean, what does he think? Everything gets paid by a money ferry? It puts a, a coffee filter under your pillow? The hell are you talking about? Davis gave me a parking ticket. What's he trying to pull? My taxes pay his damn salary. Okay, Dad, you gotta stop paying everybody's salary. You're only one man. Well, I hope Mr. Law and Order enjoys me accidentally filling his gas tank with diesel. All right, I better go talk to Lacey about this before things get out of hand. Things really got out of hand today in the small farming community of Dog River, Saskatchewan. And we are joined now by satellite by Brent Leroy. He runs the local gas station in Dog River. Brent, can you hear me? Oop, go ahead, Dan. Brent, can you shed some light on this rather bizarre series of events? Uh, one of the local cops here went kind of nuts with the parking tickets. And then my old man, who's pretty nutty to begin with, uh, vowed kind of a revenge thing. And that went back and forth for a while. The whole town started kind of a feud deal. And uh, long story short, I'm the only one left alive. Well, I doubt it'll come to that. But I can see what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. So even if Karen pays for Davis's coffee, Davis is still going to be upset. Right. Well, I want to help out, but I can't be giving Davis free coffee all the time. I mean, why should it come out of my pocket? You can write the coffee off. Give them their coffee for free, but keep track of how much they drink. Then at year's end, tally it up and claim it as a promotion and advertising expense. Even if they each drink two cups every day, that's $2,190 a year, which is a pretty reasonable deduction for a business of this size. Who's the bad guy now, huh? Hey, Marvin. Listen, that was a pretty cool thing you did for Lacey, and uh, I know we haven't been overly hospitable here, so can I buy you a drink? Bearing in mind I'm not gay? I could use another drink. Bearing in mind I'm not an alcoholic. Can we get two? All I'm trying to determine is why your station claims sales that are 25% higher than other stations in comparable towns. Well, we are the only station within 60 clicks. Uh, we're on two major trucking routes. Plus, one of our employees sometimes wears a push-up bra. Well, if it all adds up, there won't be a problem. Well, let's say hypothetically, my dad can't find these sales records. What's the deal then? Prison? Well, there's no tax prison in Canada. You don't have to worry about that. Well, I wasn't worrying. I was suggesting. Brent? Hey, tax guy? You okay, Hank? Oh, I am good. Yeah, got a little head start on you guys. <laughs> so, listen, tax guy. You, know, you don't seem like such a bad tax guy, huh? Let's say you and me run down Main Street with our pants off, huh? Be fun, huh? Hmm? So the game's afoot, is it? Hmm? Look, Hank, why don't you just forget about this, okay? What, what, do you, what do you mean? Oh, I get it. And play B.A. Gotcha. What? Sounded like Plan B in Pig Latin. Oh, geez, he's sharp. Uh, I need another drink. What was that about? You ever watch M.A.S.H.? This is stupid. You're being a big baby. Can't hear you. Look, you can too, you big baby. Serpico. You're Serpico. Oh, how am I Serpico? I thought you couldn't hear me. What do you want? Look, Davis Coffee is on the house from now on, okay? I don't have to pay? No. And she's not paying? No. You keep her away from me. What? Oh, she made things very clear. I don't want any trouble from her. What are you talking? Look, Karen, forget it, okay? I'm sorry. Here, look. Here. Here's your three dollars back. I just don't want any trouble. Did you intimidate her? Maybe. Good work, kid. Damn it! What are you doing with my camera? Emma? Here are your tax papers. You said you needed them for tonight. Well, now where did you find those? I looked everywhere. 
idiot. Hey, guys. Thanks for the advice today, Marvin. I just used it to confuse the hell out of a couple of cops. There you go, jackass. Read them and weep. Jackass? It's not just you. Remember the butterfly? Plan B. What the hell are you doing? Those are the real papers, jackass. See, it's not just you. So where'd you find those sales receipts, anyway? In the cabinet in the garage. There's a cabinet in the garage? I told you and your father both where I was putting those papers. Mm, I don't think so. You have to know where this stuff is in case the tax people come looking for it. Right. The tax man's gonna come looking for me. <laughs> Who am I? Al Capone? Look out. The feds are coming for us. Run for your life, Mob Barker. Elliot Ness is gonna catch you. We're all going to jail for tax fraud. <laughs> That's right, the feds are coming, Ma. You're not gonna take us alive, copper. Woo! Grow up. You grow up.